So hi, my name is uh, Josh Beams. I teach uh, history for seventh, eighth, and 11th grade here at FEC. I also coach football and baseball. I've been in this role at uh, FEC for four years. Before I came to FEC, I started my career in public education. I was there for 10 years. Um, I love the principals that I work for in public school. I love my school. I love the students. I love the teachers that I work with. Um, my son started going to FEC in the pre-K-3 program. And when he was going into the pre-K-4 program, I got a call from FEC, FECA about a job opportunity. And I didn't really think much about it at first because I really did love where I was and I wasn't planning on leaving public education. Um, but my wife encouraged me to go find out what it was about and just talk to them and see how I felt about it. At the time, I was possibly thinking about going back to my master's, working on my principal certification. Um, I was a curriculum writer for the district. I was involved in a leadership program. And so I really just didn't think it was for me. Um, my wife and I began to pray about the situation. I felt like after my first meeting, maybe I should go back and talk to them one more time because I just wasn't for sure what I wanted to do. But after the second meeting, I really did feel like God was pulling on my heart and telling me to go um, work at FECA. I was really nervous that I was making the wrong decision because I really did enjoy my school. Um, I enjoyed my principals and the leadership in the district, um, and I never saw myself leaving public school. Um, I took the job when I first started at FECA. I fell in love with it pretty quickly. The school was very different from what I was used to. Um, I just remember when I came in the first day, there was a sticky note on my desk with a Bible verse just encouraging me because people could tell that I was extremely nervous. It began to impact me pretty quickly. I remember after the first week, um, we're eating dinner with my wife and she looked at me and she says, you're not very stressed out right now. And usually that first week is super stressful on a teacher and even my wife could tell pretty quickly that FBCA was impacting me in a great way. Um, as I got to know the students, the one thing that stuck out to me was just the family atmosphere at FBCA. Um, I wasn't just getting to know the students, I was also getting to know the families um, as well. And it was just a different atmosphere than I'd ever been a part of. I really couldn't put my finger exactly on what was so different about it until I got a call from my former principal and I asked him if I was ready to come back and asked me if I liked it. And I said, I, I love it. And he asked me, what's the difference? And as soon as he asked me that, I knew what the answer was. The difference was Christ. Um, in a really short time at FBCA, my teaching philosophy changed. I was no longer just a coach and a history teacher. I could also implement my faith in that. And I never really felt that was never possible before, and I never, I didn't even know what that looked like. Um, so this was a game changer for me in the way that I was going to teach. I was going to be able to live my faith out in a much bolder way to my students. I, th I think that also opened up a closer relationship with my students, a more healthy relationship with my students, and a stronger teacher-student relationship. Um, I felt like I knew my coworkers better than I know any of my previous coworkers because they weren't just teachers that I taught history and with or coached with, but they're my fellow Christian co-workers who we had fellowship and we um, do Bible studies together and devotions in the morning. Um, I wasn't just getting to know my teachers and my students, I was getting to know their parents and their wives and, and their grandparents. And it was really just after four years of being here, when I walk into a classroom and I see a student, I see their entire family. It just changes the way that you interact as a teacher and a student when it's that type of family atmosphere. Um, I could talk hours about how special our students are here at FBCA. One story comes to mind, I remember <clears throat> a couple years ago, I was sitting in the lunchroom and there was a student that I noticed sitting by herself and I was looking around for someone to go sit with her and I looked up and I, I saw some girls that I knew would go sit with her and I, and before I turned around to even get over there, the girls stood up and walked and they went and sat down with her. And, and fast forward today, these girls are still like actually really good friends. And I don't know if you work with junior high girls, but this is not a normal um, event. But this is actually pretty normal for FBCA. When you walk into a classroom, you aren't always going to be able to tell who the new students are. Um, FBCA students are super welcoming um, and loving and kind. And I think that that is a... Um, I think that happens because of the biblical teaching um, that happens and the administrators and the teachers and how they interact with each other. It's just so much different than any other atmosphere that I've been a part of. Um, another story that sticks out in my mind was we have a new student this year who comes with a little bit of baggage, has a little bit of an edge to him. And uh, when he came in, you know, we he, he had to have a lot of discussions about just um, his previous uh, um, 
disciplinary actions. And uh, now, fast forward to now, he, he just smiles and he just fits in. He just, he can be a kid um, at, at PCA. And uh, he just really has just transformed himself in a short time. And I really um, think that that's a shout out to our students and how much uh, they've worked with him. Uh, God's at work in the school. Um, and it's an awesome thing to be a part of. I tell people, I'll do whatever I can to say at VCA. I'll be a janitor, I'll, I'll be the lunch lady, I'll, I'll clean the bathrooms, whatever I can do at, at FBCA because I really do believe in the product that it creates. Um, when I came here, I <coughs> was worried about <clears throat> the sacrifices I was gonna have to make and taking a pay cut because obviously private schools cannot pay as much as public schools, but through God's providence, he's taking care of me and my family. Um, in ways that I never would expect to happen. Um, most of all, FPC has made me a better teacher, a better parent. Um, as a teacher, I'm always pushed to make sure that my students in the public school were prepared for a test. Um, I spend most of my year focused on that, but here I'm able to build relationships and worry about their hearts. And it's not just about teaching to a test, but it's about growing future leadership, um, future Christian leaders of our country.